Hello, and welcome back. And yes, I know, this is the same shirt I was wearing in my other, in my last video. Uh, that's because I am filming it on the same night. Ha 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 ha. Because I promised to do a few videos that should be uploaded. It, you know. Um, now, if I look a little bit, oh, Jesus, distracted, it is because that I have uh, the, what is this, Halloween Baking Championship on Food Network on. Um, I just like watching Food Network. It's fun. <laughs> but I wanted to kind of give you guys another 30-minute long video. I'm just kidding. Actually, I'm probably not. <laughs> um, uh, just kind of a, an update on what is going on. Um, I am at this point 32 and a half weeks pregnant. Um, and the last, I think, actual update video that I did, I was only, what, maybe 14 and a half weeks pregnant? So I kind of dropped the ball. Um, so let me kind of try to catch you up from 14 and a half to 32 and a half. Um, from my first and second trimester, I lost uh, roughly 20-ish pounds. I was severely sick. It was awful. Um, I just, I couldn't keep food down. It was just an absolute nightmare. Um, my dad also had a heart attack um, right around, I believe, right around 14 and a half weeks pregnant. Um, so we dealt with that. Uh, he had open heart surgery. He had a I don't remember how many how many they had to bypass, but it was it was open heart surgery nonetheless. Whatever. Um, let's see. After that, we moved. We moved out of our apartment um, and into a two-story house. We moved back in with my parents and my brother and his girlfriend. Um, that was dramatic continues to be a little bit a little bit dramatic but you know um i just i don't really feel like getting into the dramatic part of it but it wasn't the greatest situation it caused me a lot of stress and whatever um sorry she's starting to kick oh um let's see so after that um Wow, it like between 14 and 32, like it's just it's been a while. Um, we of course found out that um, we were having a girl. Her name is going to be Charlotte Rose. Um, Adrian and I really liked kind of the old timey Southern names, um, and I just thought Charlotte was such a beautiful name. Um, and I had thought that for a long time, Adrian and I, we had names picked out ages ago, so there was really no question on what her name was going to be. Um, and also Rose is my mom's name. So, uh, we paid homage to my mommy. Uh, we are hyphenating her last name because I did not take his name when we got married. So I still have my maiden name and, um, so she'll be me and him and um also my brother doesn't plan on having kids so our family name stops with essentially me um i'm the youngest so uh i decided that she should have my name and adrian's name so that my name would also continue um let's see uh we had our gender reveal which i've already uploaded which was a lot of fun uh, we had a good time. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I like seriously. I'm trying to remember everything, but like me being pregnant and having pregnancy brain, like is really hard. Um, we found out the last week of August that. It was either the second to last week of August or the actual last week of August. 
um, that when they had done my ultrasound, sorry, my back is really killing me, um, that they had seen that there was a um, uterine fibroid on the top of my uterus and that now kind of complicated things a little bit. Um, they're extremely common. Pretty much everybody gets them when they get pregnant um, or they have them before they're pregnant and then the growth hormone um, just kind of makes it worse when you're pregnant and they don't normally go diagnosed until you're pregnant um, because you're not normally getting like regular ultrasounds and stuff like that. So I could have very well had this fibroid uh, beforehand and didn't know about it but um, they saw it on my ultrasound and my doctor called me on the last day of August which would have been a Thursday and sorry my husband just texted me he says love you um, so uh, yeah, my brain is really not working very well um, my doctor called me I was at the beach and she was like there's nothing for you to be worried about right now because there's nothing that we can do about it right now. Um, we will not, because I'm having a C-section. She goes, we will not be taking the, to the fibroid at the same time of delivery. Uh, your body's already gonna be going through a lot on that day, like, it's just, it's not safe. We'll wait probably about six months after see if it shrinks, blah, blah, blah. Um, but the tumor, the fibroid at that time was, she said the size of about, um, like a medium orange. Um, and that, and then on the first, I was at work and all of a sudden I couldn't breathe. My, the top of my stomach just blew up. I was so hard and I couldn't breathe and I was like this is not normal this is not okay like what is going on so I called labor and delivery and I was like hey these are the symptoms I'm having this is what's going on um, do I need to come in and they're like yes you need to come in like right now and so there was some drama with me getting there and with my boss and whatever like I'm again don't need to get into it because I don't need that drama in my life. So I go into labor and delivery and they start kind of like they are talking to me about my symptoms and they're and I tell them that I had just found out the day before that I had a uterine fibroid um, and this is kind of what's going on. So they ask, they're like, have you seen a prenatal specialist? I was like, no, why? And they're like, well, we're going to bring in our high-risk specialist to talk to you. And I'm instantly, I'm freaking out. <laughs> Why do I need to talk to a high-risk specialist? So they bring him in, and he gets the ultrasound machine out. Uh, not the one that they shove in your vagina. <laughs> Actually, I guess it's technically a sonogram. I don't know. Whatever. The one that they whoosh, whoosh over your belly. And... <clears throat> He hit a spot right here between my ribs and I thought I was gonna throw up the pain was so bad and he goes and he's he shows me the screen and there's this dark spot this huge dark spot and he goes that is your uterine uterine fibroid that thing is the size of a cantaloupe. He goes, of a medium-sized cantaloupe. And I was like, okay, well, I just talked to my OB yesterday, and she said a medium orange. A medium orange. A fucking cantaloupe. How, in that amount of time, did that fibroid go from an orange to a cantaloupe? He was just like, 
you cannot work this way. He goes, because that fibroid is collapsing your right lung and it is pinching off your intestines. He goes, that's why the right or the left side of your stomach, he goes, is so bloated here. He goes, that's because your intestines are being blocked off and uh, you're building up gas, you're building up poop, like everything is being built up and it's got nowhere to go. He goes, your intestines essentially frame your stomach. He goes, and right now they can't do their job. He goes, so that's where your pain is coming from. He goes, the fibroid is collapsing your right lung and that's why you can't breathe. He goes, any kind of physical activity is going to make it worse. He goes, so you're going to need, he goes, I'm not putting you on bed rest. He goes, I'm putting you on don't be stupid. And I'm like, okay, that, that works for me. Cool beans. So he goes, but you're done at work. He goes, you can't work the kind of job you're doing and be in this condition and not be able to make it to labor and delivery immediately. He goes, so you're done. I'm like, cool. That has caused a slew of problems. I've been out of work for almost a month and a half now and my disability has been denied because when my doctor's office sent over my paperwork, it essentially says I'm fine. So I have to go back in and be like, what the actual fuck? I can't, like, you need to retract all of this stuff, send a new paperwork, blah, blah, blah. So I have, I've been broke for almost a month and a half. And it's really bad. And so we've got, we, once I left work, we lost two thirds of our income. And now we're kind of panicking a little bit. So uh, financially, we're not in a very hot spot right now. But luckily, we are living with my parents. And um, they're definitely, like, helping us out and making making sure that we make ends meet. Um, my disability firm did say that my pregnancy leave has been approved. So that's nice. Um, so hopefully I'll be getting some money soon. Hopefully. Um, right now it's just kind of insane. Um, I'm definitely... I didn't start showing that I was pregnant until about a month, month and a half ago. Between six and seven months I started actually showing. And now I'm getting really big. My, my dad's been laughing at me. Um, and I'm just, I'm really tired. I'm in a lot of pain. Uh, my body is starting to go numb. Um, I'm lo I lose the feeling in my right leg, like, all the time. I almost, I'm probably like 60, 60 to 75 percent of the time, um, my right leg is completely numb. Like, someone just walked up and just gave me dead leg. Um, which feels awesome, of course. Um, I've just started getting numbness today, um, down the right side of my back and across, uh, my right ribs. I'm to like totally numb. And let's see what else. Uh, my back is killing me. The heartburn is so unreal that I can't like hardly do anything um, it's just been kind of like it hasn't been a bad pregnancy it because it could have been like totally massively worse but the parts that have been bad have just been really 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 bad so it's just been kind of a nightmare um, I really wanted to keep, um, like, my pregnancy videos, like, as real as possible. Like, I don't want to sugarcoat things and be like, oh, everything is great. I feel awesome. Because, truthfully, that doesn't help anybody. Um, the truth about my pregnancy is that it's been hard. I lost 20 pounds uh, just throwing up. I still can't eat very much. Um, 
I'm not throwing up like hardly ever now, but I've learned that I can only eat a very, very small amount, otherwise I will be sick. So um, I'm having to eat every like two hours, otherwise I'm starving and I'm miserable and I'm gonna throw up from being hungry. Uh, so that's fun. Um, it's just been kind of, at this point, like I said, I'm 32 and a half weeks pregnant. I'm just tired. I'm getting big. Uh, my body is starting to shift and my bones are moving and things are getting ready for delivery. And not that I have to really worry about that because I'm not having a vaginal birth. I am having a C-section. Um, which either way, truthfully, a vaginal birth is um, more is more dangerous right now uh, than a C-section. Um, the C-section, which is what I wanted in the first place. Um, where the tumor, the fibroid is in my body is it's on the top of my uterus, but it's half in my uterus and half out of my uterus. So if while I'm trying to deliver, my uterus starts to shred, I can very, very, very likely um, start to bleed heavy, heavily, I can hemorrhage and I can die. So um, that has kind of freaked my family out. Uh, it's kind of just freaked everybody out. Um, I'm not freaked out because like my doctors have said, there is nothing that we can do about this at this time. It, this fibroid is not inhibiting my baby in any way. It is not hindering her growth. It is not doing anything to her. Like, everything is fine. She is fine. But it does increase the chance that I will go into labor early. So, even though I will go into labor, um, I'm still having a C-section. Um, that is just the way that I want it. Uh, if I have a surgical team there already in my body, if something goes wrong with this fibroid, then I already have people there that can handle it. And it doesn't have to be an emergency C-section and then everyone panics. So just putting it out there that I'm fine. I am okay with whatever happens. Um, I've made it very clear what my wishes are to Adrian that should something happen and he has to make a choice between me and my baby um, and only one of us can be saved he is to have them save her and let me go uh, we've we've made this decision we've talked about it we are on board together but the likelihood that something's gonna happen is very very small so I'm not super worried and I can't stress out about things that I have no control over um, being pregnant has really, I don't want to be weird and say stupid shit, but it's kind of made me believe a little bit better in God, and if this is his plan for my life, then this is what is going to happen. Uh, when they do go for this fibroid, um, it will be a hysterectomy, which means I will not have any more children. I have come to terms with that, I am okay with that. The Lord is giving me one beautiful baby girl, and I am very excited to have her in my life. And I can't spend time being upset and fighting something that I can't control, something that I can't change. So I am totally fine. I have come to terms with all of this. I have total faith in my doctors. I have a great team of doctors. And they are going to do what is best for me and my baby. So I am not stressing out. I'm not freaking out. I am not. I am totally at peace with everything that's going on in my life. And that's kind of. Oh no. Sorry. The twist. You must cook with habaneros. Otherwise, you will die too. Well, at least it's not a Carolina Reaper, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, 
I'm just, that's where that's where we're at at 32 and a half weeks pregnant. I have in two weeks from today actually uh, my baby shower, and I have my maternity pictures, and I'm just hoping that I make it to my maternity pictures and to my baby shower, and that she does not decide to come before then. So that is where we are at. I probably left out a ton of stuff, but you know, pregnant, <laughs> brain not, not working. So I am going to go ahead and just leave you with that. And look, it's not a 30 minute video. It's only going to be like 22. So yay. Anyway. Um, I will leave you guys here for now and I will see you in my next video. I appreciate you guys tuning in and getting one of my videos in one week to almost 100 views. That was really freaking cool to open up my app to. So uh, thank you for that and I will catch you guys very, very soon. Bye.